Welcome RPA Champions, this is the RPA Champion and today is day 7 of your masterclass training in Power Automate Desktop. Now we are going to be building on our knowledge that we have built in the previous classes. So in the previous class we saw how to do uh, loops and uh, different kinds of loops. Now we are going to see in detail how to do if conditions, else if and also we are going to do the switch with the different cases, the different uh, a default case and we're gonna learn this now this is very important because it's going to allow our robot or our automations to take different actions based on whatever condition or whatever output happens in our process or flow so let's say for example that in our example right here that I have built we are checking for the day of the week so a condition or a certain part of code is going to execute only if it is that day of the week now we can do with all this with any kind of condition that we want and that we have in our process. So that is why it's very important. No, not important. To learn how to do if else conditions and also how to use the switch and understand why in certain cases you might want to use the if and else, else if and why we use the switch. We will understand that in the end once we understand the if and also the switch. Excellent. Now uh, I just want to tell you something. You should give yourself a pat on the back because you have arrived already at day seven at this course so uh, you are really motivated to learn power automated desktop uh, and i really believe that this is one of the skills that is going to be required for the future so you by learning it right now you're already positioning yourself really well uh, compared to anybody else that's going to learn it later but also compared to your peers so thumbs up give yourself a pat on the back again and let's continue with this so let's start with the if condition now in power automate desktop all of the conditions again are going to be under the actions pane and uh, you have different uh, different if conditions that have been simplified by microsoft so they already put a if file exists if folder exists you could also build these yourself just by using the normal if condition and other parts of Power Automate. But they have created this as default uh, just to clutter the view a little bit, but also to make it more simple at the same time. Now, uh, in this flow, we are going to use the action get current date time. So we're gonna get the current date time and we're gonna store it in the variable get current date time. After that, uh, just to test what day it is, we are going to add one to our current date. So we are going to add just one day to our current day time and we're going to choose this day and we are going to store the result in the result date. After that, we are going to use our first if condition. The first if condition is going to be, uh, I will take the result date that I got and I will use one of the properties that it has, which is day of week. So I will check the day of week. I will see that it's equal to Sunday. And if it's equal to Sunday, I will execute this message. After that, if I want to use, uh, if I want to check it for another day, I would use the else if. So if I have another condition that I want to check for, I would use else if. So with the first if, we're checking the first condition. With the second else if, I'm checking for the second condition. And I can keep on adding these until how many, however many times I want. So uh, uh, after that, it will check again if it's Monday, it will display a message saying all right it's uh, and then the day of the week and after that we have the else condition so this is this else condition we just drag and drop it inside of our if condition and this means if this is not met and this is not met in that case execute this by default almost so if this nothing happens here nothing happens here it is going to do the else and the else is just going to display the message of the day that it is currently this set so that is our uh, first loop. Let's add a breakpoint here and let's run it and see what happens. So uh, we, are get, we are currently at Sunday. So we are adding one to our current date. So we are currently right here. The pop-up has opened and is saying it is Monday. So very good. Now let's change this and let's stop our process. Let's change this and let's add zero. Let's add zero to our days so that it should be Sunday. Now let's run this again. And now this time it should stop right here. And it's telling us it is Sunday. Now 
one last time let's try this and let's add three days to our variable meaning that it should be a tuesday if my calculations are not mistaken so let's run this again and here we have it again and let's see what day it is it is wednesday my calculations were wrong excellent all right so let's stop this process and i have a question for you Radar, what's with all the questions, bro? Which of the following statements is true? It's time to check your knowledge. So, which of the following statements is true? An if block may have unlimited alternative conditions. An if block can have only five alternative conditions. All right. Let me know the answer in the comments below. Awesome. Cool. Let's continue with our process. So, this is the if. The if allows us to check a certain condition and uh, a certain condition and decide uh, if that statement, check a certain statement and decide if that statement is true. Now, the switch, on the other hand, allows us to check a series of values inside a condition. So, for example, I don't have to repeat this, uh, this condition where I'm here, I'm repeating every time uh, is, is today, this day, is today, this day. In this case, I will just set the condition here once. So I will say, I will bring over the switch from here. I will just drag and drop it. And then inside of the switch, I will say result date of the week. So I will get the result day of the week. So which day is it from here? And in that case, is it Sunday? No, in that case, is it Monday? Or a default case, which basically speaks for itself. If none of these cases have been completed, this would be the case. So in this case, it should be Wednesday. Now, if we set start our process from here and we remove our breakpoint, it's telling us that it's Monday. Now, let's run this one more time and see why is it telling us that it's Monday. All right, the first one is telling us that it's all right, and the last one is telling us that it's Wednesday. So probably something was set uh, wrongly in variables, but now it is telling us that it's not either Monday or Sunday, but it is Wednesday. Amazing. Now, there we go, ladies and gentlemen. This is a switch and an if statement. And just to recap it all, the difference between an if statement and a switch is that a switch allows you to iterate to different values inside one condition, while the if allows you to use different conditions so that you can check for different things. I hope that you have enjoyed this video and that uh, you are making good progress in Power Automate. I will see you in the next video, day 8. Have a great day.